let's see if anything has hit cloud trail. Go. <clears throat> So I'm looking at all events. Oh, here we go. I didn't type it all out. That's part of the problem. So the, the original call, this is looking for anything by the event of assume role, which is what I did as the attacker to get into this account. And that's the account we're sitting in right now. Um, I'm looking at anything from yesterday that has the event name of assume role. Ah, here we go. They, they literally just hit and I already have the data, right? So this, I believe, oh, that, this is where I went. And so that means this first one should be the one. Yeah, this looks about right. So we, we even just happen to see, I've already got everything I need just by moving through this organization. I stole some production data and the first and only assume roll call uh, I guess first of one of three um, that you will see that will not trip any alarms. It looks like completely normal traffic has finally just hit CloudTrail, something that you might be monitoring. And I'm already out, I'm already done. So that just goes to show you that uh, uh, CloudTrail, um, you know, for all it's, for as good as it does, um, I can get in and out long before it even tells you that there was even a hint of something going on. And, and Wayne, just to, to piggyback on that for a second, CloudTrail doesn't have a formal SLA in terms of how responsive it will be. Uh, AWS says it takes around 15 minutes, but we've seen it take hours at Fugue. So uh, one of the things we've actually baked into our product is the ability to do things like detect assume roles and revert them, undo them within a few minutes. Uh, five minutes or, you know, uh, roundabout, because these, these kinds of attacks um, really have to be prevented. Knowing they happened after the fact just means uh, you know that all your data is now gone. So uh, prevention is worth uh, far more than, than a pound of cure here, and no log is going to help you prevent these things.